Hello and welcome back once again to our YouTube channel Oracle DB Online Training. So in this tutorial, we are going to learn how you can perform the database duplication with the help of any ARM and backup. Suppose you have a source setup and you have a target setup and you have taken the backup on the source database using the ARM and utility and now you want to perform database duplication or I will say database cloning. So this entire tutorial will provide you the step-by-step -step guidance. Before I proceed with this tutorial, I would like to request all the viewers who has not subscribed so far our channel, please do subscribe. This helps us a lot. Also, you can take the benefit of membership program by clicking on the join button here so that you can explore the exclusive contents which is meant only for the members. Along with this, you can also visit our previous tutorials. You can watch previous sessions. If you are interested about taking the recorded course, you can always visit to our website. Links are in the description of this video. You can go through that uh, and you can purchase one of the best selling course that is Oracle DB Ultimate Advanced Version course. Here you, are, here you will be learning uh, Oracle database end to end. It has multiple contents uh, starting from the beginning to the advanced topics like Golden Gate and uh, Rack data guard patching upgradation and so far so without wasting too much of time let's focus on today's agenda like how you can perform the database duplication using the ARM and backup so we have for this purpose we have two two different servers so one will one server will be considered as source other server will be considered a target so from the original setup what we have to do we need to take the one backup latest backup suppose in your case if the backup is already available so you can utilize that backup send this backup to the target system so for this purpose let me log in quickly on the first source setup so this is our source setup which is named as a vm1 and then we have the target setup which is named as a vm2 okay so let's quickly start the database on this server so definitely you are, when you are working on a production environment you will be having the access to the database for looking this better, I will just increase the font size from here. This also I will increase the font size. Okay, so once this font is increased, then after that we'll try to start up the database on this server. So here I have already created one of the script which is available in the backup mount uh, mount points. So let me quickly go to that location. Any old backup, I will just try to remove them. So let's remove these. So this backup script, what we will do, we'll run the cat command. This backup contains the script to generate the backup of your database which is level 0 plus archive logs it will also take the control file backup and then finally it will do the cross check so let's execute this backup script by running the armin sh option all right so there's some problem with this backup script let me quickly check what is the issue here i believe there is something is missed out here somewhere Cross-check backup set, delete, expired backup set. So basically we'll remove this option from here. Now it should be fine. So let's remove the log again. From here, and quickly we'll take the backup by running the Armen of script. So now this script will take the backup, and this backup we have to transfer on the target server quickly. If you are looking for this documentation, you can visit to our website. There you can take our all the video related documents only by paying 2000 rupees and also we have recently started our new batch you can join this batch for learning oracle database end to end so this backup has been generated now 
let's uh, move with the next step so we need to send this backup file here what is this particular file here oh this is auto backup so that should be fine so we'll transfer that backup files from here using the scp option scp hyphen r and we'll put it this way we need to send this backup copy to the target server so target server ip address is 192.168.1.50 so here i'll mention like oracle 192.168.1.50 Five zero. Then you have to type the target backup location. So here we'll put it like this. So once the backup is transferred, now the task related to the source setup has been completed. Now we need to only focus on the target server where you will be finding out your backups. So this is our backup location. Now on this server, we have to first create the P file. So far on the source setup, everything is completed. Now our next target will be to on, uh, perform the task on the target system. In this case, our target server is considered test VM2, which IP address is 192.168.1.50. So first we'll go to the RML location. We have already validated the backup pieces. Here we have decided that we'll change the database name. I'll be keeping the database name as ORCL. So after that duplication of the database will finish, the database will run like ORCL. So for this purpose, we need to also create one P file. So this P file should have all the required parameters. So here we will define the audit file location, trail file location, compatible control file. So if you want to keep your control file to different location, make sure these directory structure should be there. And here we need to remember one thing, if you are making the location changes, let's say on the source, your location is under U01 and you want to move this file to U01. So you have to use db file name convert log file name convert accordingly if you want to keep everything same as source then there is no need for this okay so apart from this we can also look for the log arcade desk so these are the some of the things that you have to define in the p file so this is some minimum minimum parameter file that you have to define make sure your sgapj is correctly defined after that we will create a directory structure so directory structure will contain whatever location that you have defined in the p file same thing has to be created on the server itself after this you have to start up the database so to start the database you will log in sql plus prompt and we need to remember one thing here we will directly create sv file from p p file and then we'll start the database in the no mount phase Once everything is completed, simply you have to log in into the RMN prompt. Since this setup has nothing running on this, basically it doesn't have the control file or anything. This database will be considered as an auxiliary database. So you have to log in into the auxiliary database. After that, you need to just allocate the channel and you have to run this command, duplicate target database to, and then give the name of the database. In this case, it will be ORCL and then give the backup location. So once you execute this command, automatically everything will get restored so i'll exit from here i'll go back to the armen prompt there we have to log in and run the connect auxiliary once it connected then you have to log in and run this command so this one one liner of command it should automatically rename your database to orcl and it will perform the, all the restoration so from your backup copy, the database duplication operation will complete. I will say like database cloning itself is done with the help of backup commands. So this is a very simplest way of making a database cloning from one server to another server. In fact, if you can make this cloning operation on any existing server as well. Suppose if your database where you have restored, if it is on higher version, so you have to run the data patch or boost command after a completion of the restoration. So once this is completed, then we need to do the verification where you have to check the information such as name of the database and other information.
Yeah, so here basically we are getting this error message. This indicates that file is already used. But actually, if you look at the file is not in use. So what we can use, we can use no file name check option here at the at the last no file name check. So once you execute with this, so once you re-execute this command, it should be able to restore everything correctly. But for this purpose, you have to first bring down the database. and start the database in no mount state. So this is an expected behavior. Basically, you have to use no file name check option. Otherwise, this particular error might be encountered. So we'll remount the uh, start the database in no mount phase again. After that, we have to exit from here, login into the Armin prompt, rerun the same commands by running. First, we need to connect to the auxiliary database. And after that, we need to run this command. So here we can clearly see that database restoration is working without any issue. In fact, the database name will also get converted into the ORC. So meanwhile, if you are a new uh, to our YouTube channel, please do subscribe our YouTube channel. And also if you are interested in uh, ready courses, please purchase these courses from here. And so this database restoration is successfully completed. We will log in again to verify the database. So let's do the quick verification. So database with the name ORCL, read write mode, everything is looking fine. We will verify the name of the data files. The data file is now restored in this location. The rest of information also we can verify. So here everything is now restored successfully. After that, we need to put one entry in the URA tab file. So there you can add the overseal database instance information. So that's it. Basically, this is how you have to make the database cloning with the help of Norman backup copy. I hope you have understood how the database can be duplicated from an existing Norman backup step by step guidance. So if you are new to our YouTube channel, please do subscribe. And if you are interested in this document, you can purchase it from our website. If you have any question, do reach out to our give an email ID in the description box. Thanks again for watching this tutorial and do not forget to subscribe this channel. Have a wonderful day.